bright duty every student matters now few questions from this debate the damage caused to the forest by the falling first is building rest houses for tourists in national park so i would say yes it would cause damage to the forest first of all a land area has to be cleared up so many trees will be cut down to build a resort secondly uh, there would be uh, road constructed then it will need electricity and water supply for all that uh, activities there would be cutting down of trees and when uh, the tourists start coming it also causes pollution because then there are vehicles then there is use of electricity they use up water they also throw garbage so it leads to degradation of the forest secondly grazing domestic animals in national parks so i would say this will not lead to uh, damage to the forest if it is done in a controlled way there should not be over exploitation okay there are many examples from our uh, from our ancient texts that people used to gra graze their uh, sheep and cattle in the forest region and then it was that area was given time to regenerate okay the grass will regrow on its own so it did not lead to exploitation of the forest resources third tourists throwing plastic bottles or covers and other little in uh, litter in the national parks this will also cause degradation of the forest because these plastic bottles they are non biodegradable they keep on piling up uh, in the soil they degrade the soil if they are thrown in the water sources like lakes ponds or rivers they also cause water pollution so such activities lead to degradation of our environment next question why should we conserve forest and wildlife first reason is destruction of forest affects the availability of forest products there are many products which we need from forest okay depending upon where you live there are uh, different kinds of people who are actually dependent on forest for example local people or tribals who are uh, uh, who reside near the forest they are dependent upon uh, forest for, forest for fodder for their their own food for bamboo to make their huts etc secondly it also affects the quality of soil and sources of water okay so if the forest are degraded or or if deforestation is there it it leads to soil erosion it also leads to more soil flows into the water so in a way uh, water also does not seeps into the underground so in a way it also adversely affects the soil and water resources thirdly it leads to loss of flora and fauna for once the land is cleared that biodiversity is lost forever so these are just few reasons why it is important to conserve forest and wildlife you can think about many other reasons for this next question suggest some approaches towards the conservation of forest what can be done first is making bios biosphere reserves national parks where industrialist or local people where uh, hunting or cutting down trees is not allowed second important very important is participation of the local people because local people have know the way how to sustainably manage these resources and third is sustainable management for example reforestation once the trees has been cut down more trees should be allowed to grow in that area so such uh, sustainable management practices help in conservation of forests so students that's all from this part of the chapter